Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I just wanted to kind of do a little catch up, tell you what I've been up to. Not a lot, but a lot. Like staying home a lot, which is kind of nice for the house. Lots of projects. Today I had to go out, not on purpose. Hubby left his camera in my car. And I actually don't go out a lot anymore because quarantine, we're closed, we're open. <sighs> I find I'm not even fixing my hair or putting on makeup very often. <laughs> so today I did both and he said, oh, can you bring me my camera? I'm like, well, good thing I put on hair and makeup. I went to curl my hair. My curlers are broke. They're kind of mad at me for not using them anymore and they just decided to stop working. So I'd use my curling iron a little. And I went to Walmart and they don't have my curlers. They always have the same curlers. I've bought them like three times. I wear them out. Weird. I never wear lipstick anymore. I always wore lipstick, but now after COVID, I have to wear the mask everywhere. So I just don't bother. <laughs> no makeup, no hair, no lipstick. Who am I? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I am at my hairdressers, finally. Oh my gosh, my hair needs it so bad. The cool thing about going to the hairdresser is you don't have to fix your hair. <laughs> so I um, had this appointment rescheduled and then she called me and said, we're closed down again. Our county got closed down again. She's in a different county than me. And then I said, well, okay, can you make me up a little root kit? I'll do it myself and we'll wait for the next appointment. So we made an appointment to pick up a root kit. And that was yesterday. But she called me on Friday and she said, we're open. So do you want to come Monday and pick up your root kit? Or do you want to come Tuesday and get your hair done? It's Tuesday. I'm getting my hair done. <sighs> when will this craziness end? Oh, I'm gonna come back with beautiful hair. It'll seem like no time whatsoever to you, but it takes an hour or two for me. But I'm gonna be so happy. Roots. Yeah, mine are all gray. I don't hate gray hair on other people. I'm just not ready for it myself. So let me have my hair. What a difference, right? Oh my gosh. That's just amazing what she can do. And I gotta say, why shut down beauty shops? It's one of the cleanest places I know. Like not like Walmart is not cleaner than my beauty shop. They clean everything they always did. Stop shutting it down. <laughs> Let me have this. No nails, can I at least have my hair? <sighs> what a relief. And I didn't have to do it myself. So I'm on my deck right now and I just want to say, do you hear that? Nothing. We have had our generator on off and on for two days. No power. Our local electric company just sent us a note and said we're going to turn off the power and they did. And thank goodness we have a generator because that just makes it all okay. And not okay, but better. The other thing I wanted to share is I'm going to do a video and show you quickly, um, not a long video, but I painted my dining table and I'm just going to show you that real quick. That's my table and chairs that I painted. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I'm going to put a before and after picture right now. I'll do a video and tell you all the details. But the reason I did that is because I've been wanting to do that for a long time, like years actually. Bought the paint a month ago and I just was putting it off. It was something I wanted to get done, but it was just getting on, putting back, putting back, putting back. You know how that just put, gets put back behind everything else. And I had a new idea, a new project. And I told hubby I wanted to do this new idea. And then I thought before I do any more new ideas, I need to do the old one, the old idea that's never happened. And I need to paint that table. So I painted the table so I could go on to the new idea, which I wanna show you a little bit of. I'm gonna take you on a little tour and I'll tell you the new idea. So I'm sitting on my deck and it starts getting hot. And I'm like, I should go sit up there. It's a little cooler by the waterfall. And then I, I had an idea. Wouldn't it be nice to have another seating area as nice as the deck? so I could just sit up there by the waterfall. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Someone asked to see the garden that hubby did for Mother's Day and I will show you that and kind of just give you a little tour and catch you up. 
and I also thought it would be fun to go in my sewing room because it's a mess. <laughs> and it's, I only clean it up for videos. So you only see it clean and you're like, does she just never mess up her sewing? Yeah, I mess up my sewing room a lot. And I am trying to make these fabric pumpkins. And I'll just, I'll just show you how it looks right now. Show you a little bit of an aftermath of the kids being here because they brought this table down to eat at with their chairs. And then they did school there and this is sis's drum she does music on with the bar stool from upper lawn now we call that the upper lawn but there's never been a lawn there the roses have been nice but they're at the end here's the garden that hubby put in in may and we thought it would be all bushy by now but apparently our soil is not awesome so we're having to do a lot of you know miracle grow and hopefully next year we'll get the hang of it and there's a little, another remnant of grandkids. And I wanted to take you up here to the upper lawn to show you, I moved my bar that used to be there and now I moved it over there near the table, which I think is gonna be nice. And I got this old set. This used to be my old set before I bought the new set. And we painted it. I picked tan and I'm gonna show you the fabric cause it just came today, but I should have picked gray. Everything over there is gray but I still love this color and it's gonna be so nice to sit by the waterfall, won't it? Oh, all right, we gotta go see this fabric. Okay, so I showed you my old lawn furniture that we painted and I definitely will show you a video of that process. I just wanna give you a sneak peek of the fabric. Hope it's cute. This came today. I kind of thought it reminded me of this fabric, but it's different and i'm liking it all right what do you think of that oh my gosh i think i love it i'm kind of calling that seating area boho meets tiki hut <laughs> we're gonna put some market lights up and um i don't know some tiki stuff and this fabric for my cushions. I'm going to try and recover the old cushions, but they are in bad shape. So watch that video to find out what happened because I don't know yet what happens. <laughs> but I'm in love with this fabric. It's going to be nice. I got it at Fabric Guru. Same place I got this fabric. So. Okay, truth time. I'm going to turn on this light so you can see the difference. Honestly, it's amazing how much light this puts out. Isn't that great? So I'm making these little pumpkins and, oh, can I see that? No, I can't even, I, I can't move my hand while I'm doing the video. <laughs> Anyways, they're kind of cute. So I'm gonna do these three colors and put them on my new table. So it's a big mess. I had tried which kind of thread to use. So there's embroidery threads. That's my embroidery bag. It's full of embroidery stuff. But I ended up using this and this and that i need to hang my board i wanted to buy one that matched that one but i can't find one so I'm, i had this one so i'm doing that there's some sand i'm going to make myself a pin cushion there's some paint because i'm going to paint those mason jars for fall not a lot of sewing going on just a little bit on the pumpkins but now you see the mess okay i have to finish that craft before i can move on and what do you spy a glue gun. I said in my video on the fabric boxes that I just can't do glue. And then I thought, that's crazy. I see people doing glue all the time. I'm gonna master it somehow. And I've been playing with the glue gun. And so far, so good. I glued these. I did a terrible job on that one. I'm getting better as we go. Let's see, the green ones are newer. So I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it. I watched a few videos. I think I get it. But I want to know why is there no on off button on glue guns? You have to plug them in to turn them on. That's kind of silly. Should have an on off button. And so I'm going to add to my project list. Same things I still haven't finished. I did do the invisible pockets. Yoga band on pants. That's next because I really want to share that as fall's coming. And I will be doing more of my pants. Then everything else. 
So now you've seen everything and we're caught up. And I just wanted to pop in and say hi and see how you're doing. How are you doing? Are you able to get out more? I mean, eventually we have to kind of start finding normal, normalcy again. And I look forward to that. Although I have to say, I've always been somewhat of a homebody. And so I don't mind staying home at all. And for someone to tell me to stay home, it wasn't hard. Like, I don't know. I like home. That's probably why I like my channel. Because it's something I can kind of talk to you from home. And you're watching me from home. So we're both home. <laughs> I sound crazy now. So from my home to your home... Hi, hope you're doing well, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.